I think the two most important things I want people to take away from the book is number one is ordinary people can do extraordinary things. For me, doing something extraordinary was getting to the top of the African continent on Mount Kilimanjaro. For you, it could be running a marathon or raising two children. I think the other thing I'd like people to take away from it is Africa is a beautiful, beautiful place. Tanzania was phenomenal. The people were warm and welcoming. Uh, and, and being with them has, has changed my life. I just dreamed about it, unable to quite make it happen, until one day, I met a woman, as these stories all seem to start. I was out on my first date with Lisa. We had a very nice dinner. Afterwards, we sat and had a few drinks. And we talked, as you do on your first date, about our hopes and dreams for the future. And at one point, Lisa says, you know, someday I'd like to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Well, this is great. We have so much in common. <laughs> But we continued until we finally got to about 18,000 feet, so about 40% less oxygen than you and I are breathing right now. And the only way I can describe it is I just collapsed onto the trail from altitude sickness. As I'm laying there on the ground, off in the distance I can hear voices and footsteps coming up the trail. It turns out it's a Canadian family that's been climbing with us. John, 63 years old, he brought his son and daughter with him to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Now, we can't look bad in front of the Canadians. <laughs> That's not going to work. So I take a deep breath, and I sit up, try to collect myself and my composure. And John comes up to me, taps me on the shoulder, and says, Dan, how you doing? And I look up at John, and before I realize it, I say, John, I'm thinking about going down. It didn't even occur to me that I had thought about quitting until those words came out of my mouth. Midnight, Muhammad wakes us up. Put on our warm clothes, put on our backpack, and we step out into the darkness. And it is at this moment that I begin to realize that the National Geographic Society and all those really cool IMAX movies and people like John Krakauer, there's something they never told us about mountaineering. Climbing a mountain summiting a mountain specifically is an amazingly, incredibly, spectacularly boring experience. <laughs> it is so boring. Now think about this for a minute. We spent five days learning Swahili, meeting climbers from Germany, Denmark, and France, and Switzerland. We've been having a scintillating conversation, right? There is 30% less oxygen than you and I are breathing right now here. There is no scintillating conversation. <laughs> For five days, we've seen rainforest. We've looked out across the East African savanna to see the beauty of the continent. It's midnight. The only thing you can hear is the rocks crunching on your boots as you march up the hill. And the only thing you can feel is your own lungs heaving as you try to take in enough oxygen to keep moving forward. <laughs> 